everybody we are back with the retro toy pickup so here we got a nice little I don't know if you'd say a bundle of Disney toys but they are and um, we got two different toy manufacturers we got some Funko toys here we have Chippendale we have Blue Bear and we have over here Fat Mojo their rendition of the new DuckTales line of toys so we're just going to kind of unbox these, compare them a little bit, and see which brand has a little bit better edge in the toy making game. Now these are, again, retro toys that are now remade for a new generation to basically capture a whole nother generation with the same characters that inspired a previous generation. So without further ado, let's hop right into the unboxing and check out these toys. Now these Disney Tailspin and Chippendale ones from Funko they we got Blue Bear I had, doesn't really tell you on the back how many of them are, are in the set these are officially licensed by Disney so we hope that the quality and standard that Disney requires is in this product now the Fat Mojo ones I know for sure those are um, a little bit different than different style and then these, these are more traditional the, these are a little bit more traditional in regards to the series adaptation so you got some movable arms here posable joints at the elbow which don't really pose very well yeah they don't really move it's nearly impossible to bend his arm a little too tight is what it, what it is so basically can't even bend his arm actually his arm his arm actually doesn't even look like the the little nipples even in the right spot it's kind of bowed out a little bit so hmm, who knows and then you got legs that just kind of rotate it's got got his big fat head and there's blue bear flying the uh the little the airplane the sea dog or whatever it's called there you go, there's Blue Bear. Eh, I mean, I don't know. Shiny plastic, it just looks very, very cheap to me. But we'll revisit him. We'll check him out in a minute. Let's go into Dale, which has two figures. We got Dale and Zipper. Not just one, we get two. Here's Dale. More of a party animal, wouldn't he? Oop, the wing just broke off. I'm trying to pop him out. The wing literally just broke off. I'm trying to pop him out. Yeah, it's broken. Well, that would suck if I was a kid and that happened. To pay that for sure. I mean, wow. Yeah, the other one. I mean, put some weight on it. Doesn't pop off. But this one just popped off. So it probably wasn't even put on right in the first place. And when it was stuffed in there, it probably weakened it. And then when you pulled it out, it probably just came apart. So, yeah, well. Probably just need some glue, but you shouldn't have to do that when you buy a figurine. So, there's a little zipper. Here is Dale, which, you know, again, shiny plastic. We have some joints here. The elbow joints probably aren't necessary. I don't know why they even put those in there. The shoulder joints are interesting. They do work at least. Um, but the elbow ones are just non-functional. Just sluggish. I feel like you're going to break the arm off when you bend it. I mean, the amount of force you have to put in, you probably would break it eventually. Head swivel is pretty good. The legs, if... I don't know. It's the only way I guess you could make the legs work. Um, but the elbow is just... I think the elbow is just unnecessary. That was just unnecessary in that regard. Well, let's check out Chip. Probably the most elaborate out of the figures. We got Chip here. Because he has a, I believe, a torso movement. It looked like he had a torso movement. Yeah, he has torso movement. Or maybe does. maybe Dale does too. Oh, I guess the L does too. There you go. Like so, he has. They have equal. They have torso movement. Does blue? Oh, blue does too. He can move his fat belly. So you got Dale, 
kind of looking like Indiana Jones here. Arms, see, like in this in this instance, the shoulders are almost unnecessary to have the joint there, because um, look, he's very limited in mobility with his collar. So I think that's kind of counterproductive. Although his elbow movement is probably the best out of all the other characters, so that's good. Um, it looks like his arms actually jointed right at the elbow. So bravo for him for having actual elbow joints that work. His feet joints are a little, his leg and feet are a little, just a little stiff to move. Not the easiest thing to move. But this is Funko, so these are the same people that make those pop toys. Um, and this is the quality that they put into their work here. We got the little zipper's wing won't even stay on, which is fucking excellent. Let's pop in our last one. This is the Fat Mojo Scrooge McDuck figure, and it's got a little bit of a modern twist to it, so we're going to check that out. It's got a little bit of a modern twist to it, the way the the way they relaunch DuckTales. Duck, cardboard inserts. Not bad. Let's check him out. So we got the uh, Scrooge McDuck, a little bit bigger than the little Rangers, but probably around the same size as the Blue Bear. So we could get a little artifact for Scrooge to have near him or whatever, and you got a cane for Scrooge's cane. Scrooge McDuck figure right there. Pretty cool. Uh, no waist movement, no elbow joints. Got a little, uh, little bit of paint there. Looks like some white paint. Um, simple up and down movements, which would have been fine for these other creatures. Um, just this would have been fine. The elbow joints are just, I don't know, they just look. So he's uh, about the same size as Blue Bear in regards to the height. Um, and then Scrooge's legs, nope, they do not move. They just are stuck in there. His tail does not rotate, and his head rotates, though. His head uh, rotates on a swivel. Very nice neck dynamics in regards for the figure. And it looks pretty accurate to Scrooge's... Uh, characterization. The one thing I think is weird is whatever is going on right in this area right here. I don't. There's just like two holes here. It looks like I don't know if the skirt's not stuck in all the way for his jacket, but or there's it's missing something. But there's definitely a gap there. No, that's oh, and that has has paint chipped off on it. That's interesting. So let's see. Uh. Scrooge's cane. There you go. Scrooge bounces with his cane. It's pretty cool. It's about as far out as you can you can do it. Um, just because other than that, you're gonna have to, you're gonna run into the the fact that cane's gonna be too tall for him. So I guess you could do something like that. He just holds it differently. But it looks weird that he holds it on the, at the tip like that. You know what I mean? It just doesn't really look right. You're not really getting the balance you need from that just aesthetically doesn't look right that looks fine though right there now we do have some paint on his toe right there he's got a little bit of red paint on there there's some white paint over there some yellow splash lettered yellow dye other than that though pretty nice in regard there's some dirt back here and some paint as you can see all in the back of his head this is all filthy back here. I mean, this is supposed to be something you're collecting. I wonder how does all this how does this get dirty like that? And then they decide they want to put this in a container. I mean, look at this. Look at the beak itself with all the the marks on it. Hmm. Kind of disappointed in that one. 
uh, with the marks in the dirt. So it's like it made up for it in the quality. Uh, the Fat Mojo made up for it in the quality of the figure and, and the thought process behind it, but like the quality assurance, the quality check didn't really happen here. Um, I don't know. If it was something on clearance, maybe I could see it being acceptable because it's like it's flawed, there's a reason for it. But I mean, it's something that's not um, on clearance and they're charging full price for it. Probably shouldn't have made it to the shelf in the first place, so. I don't know these uh, these new toys that they're they're coming out with that are a spin on old vintage characters are interesting. Um, I definitely think I like the Scrooge McDuck one the best out of the renditions that I selected here. We did have a we had a tailspin selection and a Ducktales one, so I figured I'd grab one and some Chippendales. So I figured I'd grab some from each series um, that they had out there. So and uh, yeah, just kind of disappointed honestly in both sets of figurines so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want more content like this subscribe for more we do vintage electronics and retro toys every single friday so be on the lookout for that and have a great rest of your day